Bypass Publishing presents Difficult Topics Explained Psychology in the Fast Lane Top Down and Bottom Up Processing In talking about perception, top down and bottom up processing is a topic that's continually debated by psychologists and has been for a long time. How are sensation and perception related to cognition? Is perception constructed by cognition act to direct cognition? These are the questions that lead us to these different approaches. Let's start with bottom-up processing. Bottom-up processing is data-driven, and it states that perception directs cognition. That is, we start at the bottom with observable patterns, and these inform our higher-order cognitive processes. Now I can simplify this a little bit with an example. Sensation involves your eyes collecting visual information, your ears collecting auditory information, and so on with the other senses. So if you imagine a mosquito buzzing around your head, your eyes collect visual data about the surrounding environment, your ears hear the buzzing, and once this data reaches the brain and is processed, perception has occurred. The cognitive component then takes over and the intention to swat the bug is formed and transmitted into action. So the bottom-up process says that this outside data is used by the brain's cognitive processes to do things like make decisions and determine behavior top-down processing. Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night and shuffled to the refrigerator or bathroom in the dark? Sure, all of us have. But this is where the concept of top-down processing enters the picture. This approach states that our behavior is influenced by conceptual data housed within the higher order cognitive processes that construct our experiences and expectations. So put more simply with an example, you're wandering around your apartment in the dark you're able to get around fairly well because you've conceptualized what your apartment looks like in the light from previous experience. That is top-down processing, because your perception and behavior was driven by what you expected to see, not just by the visual data alone. So bottom-up processing states that perception directs cognition or behavior, and top-down processing states that perception is constructed by cognition 